This is Marshall Zhukov here. What we've got in front of us are five Molson Nagant carbines. I'm sure everybody can count that high. I would hope so. I have a hard time, but most of the time I do all right. Not all of them are Russian. This one over here, I'm trying to get a zoom in there without blocking the light, is uh, Hungarian. There's the Arsenal stamp there, 02. And we'll see if I can get in on the uh, crest there below the date. The Hungarian crest and the serial numbers. The little dashes here on the receiver are uh, from the arsenal. Kind of uncommon, but typically I've only seen them on the uh, Hungarian ones. I've not seen them on any of the other models. The stock's in decent shape. There's a gouge on the other side. It's hard to move all of these or they all fall over. It's got the correct M44 sights. I found this one at a pawn shop for 120 bucks out the door. It had a good bore, uh, nice strong lands and grooves, a little bit frosty. So, been trying to save a little money, but couldn't pass up a good deal. Didn't have a Hungi M44. The next one in line is a Romanian M44. It's one that I have refinished. I reblued all the parts, the metal parts on it, and uh, redid the stock. You can see on the corners of the stock how they're kind of rounded. I filed those off because the stock was just jagged and rough there, so that was me. Not too bad of a bugger job, I guess. Here's a 1955. You can see the Romanian crest there, the date, and the arsenal is similar to the Ashevsk arsenal uh, of the Russian carbines. I'm trying to get a good picture of that. Um, hopefully it can be seen. It's a large, broad arrowhead inside of a triangle. There's no little fletching on this like the uh, the chef's arsenal, like the next carbine over here, this is uh, my 1946 M44. It's got the sling attached. But uh, this one is in great shape. It's, the bore looks like it's hardly ever been shot. Try to get a little zoom in on the uh, arsenal stamp there. Oh. You can see the small arrowhead and small arrow fletching inside the triangle. That's the uh, second is Chef's Arsenal mark. And you can see they got a big import stamp on the side there from uh, Century Arms. Bought this off a of buddy of mine for 75 bucks. It was my first Mosin the Gun rifle that I ever bought. And as we can tell, I haven't been uh, slacking on buying them either. Next in line is an M38. Fat finger in the way, god damn it. It's a typical Ishevsk 1943 M38 carbine in a correct stock. We can see there's no bayonet cutout along the side here. Go back, motherfucker. Unlike the ones that do have the bayonets, you can see it easier on this one right here. The cutout groove right there. So it's in a correct stock, which is nice. I came across one of those at a gun show and paid $135 for it or something. Not too bad. And this one here, right next to it, is a uh, hex carbine. It's the 9159, sometimes mistaken for the M38s. Um, it's a... 1934 Tula with a hex receiver. Um, on all these, I don't see any arsenal stamps that say any metal work was done on them, especially the Russian ones, but who knows? The Russians, no stock marks either. But the way to tell the M38 and the 9159 apart is the front sights. Excuse me, the rear sights. The front sights are the same, I guess, as we can see in the picture. The rear sights have been milled off, past 1,000 meters 
to 2,000 meters. That's the main difference between the 9159 and the M38 carbine. They're all the same length. I've tried to get them all lined up as best I can. And they are all roughly 40 inches in length. So a little bit of difference here between some of the carbines. I removed the bayonet on the uh, Romanian M44 after I refinished it. Didn't bother. Drifted the sight a little bit to compensate for uh, point of aim and point of impact. So stay tuned, there are going to be some 9130 and Finn was in the gun videos coming shortly. Go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more or YouTube will just say, hey, buddy over here's got a new video. Come check it out. Comments, suggestions, whatever you want to say is welcome. Hope you enjoyed.